This is Russell French, a strategic account manager for Pioneer Hybrid in the High Plains, and today we're uh, scouting for western bean cutworm. Uh, this insect has seemed to be increasing over a lot of the Midwest. Uh, we're happen to be out here in uh, northwest New Mexico today, uh, and they've been a problem here year in and year out uh, since I've been working out here. And so what we do is uh, is come out here and we're gonna we 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 mark off 20 plants in a row. And uh, then we uh, then we scout looking on the upper leaves because that's usually where that the the uh, western bean cutworm will lay on the upper leaves. And you can see here as we come in here uh, in this set we uh, counted 20 plants. We found one egg mass, so that's a five percent of the plants infested. And then we're going to move over and count another 20 plants, and then go to the other side of the field and and do another 20 plants. And so we're looking for these egg masses. When you get to this stage where we're between Bt and R2 and we have a economic threshold, we're gonna recommend an insecticide to be applied. Here in the High Plains, we need to make sure we uh, use an insecticide that uh, will not flare spider mites. So we try to avoid organophosphates and synthetic pyrethroids and use other products that are effective against Western bean cutworm, but will not uh, hurt the beneficial insect population. Um, these things, uh, we're also using pheromone traps here, uh, out here on the farm. Uh, when we start averaging about, uh, you know, between 25 to, to 50 moths every, every night, every other night, uh, that's, that's an indicator that uh, we need to be out here scouting and, and looking at egg lay. So uh, uh, we're still working on this field. We've had some fields we've already identified up in the 20 to 60 percent of the plants with egg masses, and we're scheduling those to be uh, sprayed as the corn tassels. Uh, Western bean cutworms need uh, pollen to feed on to grow and then they'll move down into the ear at the uh, R2 stage and get inside the ear. They're not cannibalistic like a corn ear worm, so you can have multiple western bean cutworm larvae in an ear and they can cause quite a bit of damage. Anywhere from you know, up to 15 to 25% yield loss can occur under heavy western bean cutworm infestations. And they also can cause problems with uh, uh, ear molds, you know, like uh, that can cause uh, uh, dawn uh, or other mycotoxins that could be a problem. So, Again, uh, this is the time to be scouting uh, corn here at, at uh, right at pre-tassel for Western Bee Cutworm. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.